Welcome to session one of the CS Time Clock web interface. You can access a CS Time Clock through its web interface just using your internet browser. To do so, open a new tab on your internet browser, put in the address of the time clock, and press enter. And you can use the login 9970 and the default password, which is password in lowercase. Now, if you don't know the address of your time clock, you can go to the actual time clock, press the menu button, and then two, and then two again, and it will display after a couple of screen refreshes, the actual IP address of the clock, which you can put into your browser in the address bar, and then press enter, and go through the same process that I did just then. Now in this session we're going to talk about the menus of the CS time clock. So on the left hand side there's a number of menus. The browse menu is a global view of all employees, all clockings for those employees in a given date range. I'll just change the date range for this clock to one where I know there's some clockings in but you would use your current payroll period in general. When you press apply you'll see all of those clockings in the date range and there are more pages we will get to this in a, in a later video the next item is the cards and pins this is where you see cards and pin numbers so they are physical pin numbers and actual rfid card numbers that are allocated to employees or details about their fingerprints in the daily hours screen which is the next item menu you'll see all of the employee daily hours calculations for the date range selected above. The next item is the payroll hours. You'll see all of the employees payroll hours for the period in the date range above and they'll be separated into various different time categories which we'll discuss at a later date. The next item is the leave item. You can see leave records that have been entered into the system. So you can enter leave either here or through the individual employee. The next item is the payroll export where we configure the payroll export for your particular product. You'll see there the one that's currently selected is MIOB, which is a very common payroll extract file. You can close these menu items just using the arrows. The next item is the my time shows the details about the current logged in employee, which is 9970. It'll show the clockings for 9970. There won't be any because it's an administrator. It'll show cards, daily hours, payroll hours, and leave associated with the current logged in user. Some companies give access for their employees to their own attendance records in the time clock. Many companies don't. You can limit the view to read only for employees if you choose. The next menu is the processing menu. These menu items are generally the way that we set specific parameters in the system that apply to the calculations of people's hours, and that includes schedules, it includes settings that determine the way that rounding and balancing work, and we can also set leave types and holiday types that you can define yourself in this area. Under the setup menu, many of the items are used by the end user, but many of them are also pre-configured by our support staff. We'll go into these in later detail, but the ones that you may use from time to time are the backup, where you can do a backup of the system, which you would do after you've registered all of your employees and then once each week after payroll. You can set your own departments, you can select payroll exports, and you can set your own sirens. But in the system, the rest of those items that I haven't touched on are set up by our configuration staff. And that is how the menu system works on the CS time clock. In the next session, we'll be talking more about the setup of employees and the contents of the browse menu.